well do you know current affairs in Singapore and Asia? Which Asian country announced in March that it would overhaul its antiquated currency system in a step towards reforming its impoverished economy? You mean the euro? I don't know. Any options? Is it Laos? Don't know. China? China? Overhaul its currency. Mm, euro? I really have no idea. China? We don't know. Should be Cambodia, I don't know. <laughs> Laos. Overhaul, is it? Mm. India. This is going to be a wild guess because I have no idea. I think it's China or Singapore. Not really sure. Laos. Uh. That question was among the easier ones in the preliminaries of the Straits Times and Ministry of Education's The Big Quiz. If that question didn't stump you, try this one. Which of these statements is true? A, B, C, or D? Must below normal. Below. I feel it's higher. Ahead. It's on par, I think. On par. On par. You? Above. Above? So it's ahead? Yes. Yeah. Healthcare inflation. Um, I think it's with above. Second one. Ah, yes. Run faster. So it's a hit? Yeah, a hit. A hit. Yeah, that's correct. All right. What do you think of the questions? Do you think they're very tough? Rather tough because even we know, we are aware of some of the details, we wouldn't remember those statistics, like the, the numbers that exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we do read the articles, but we don't pay attention to how the exact statistics of like the inflation question. Like, Let's say it takes a little bit of doing some analysis and then how well you know the current market. So I guess um, I still try to keep up with what's happening and uh, lucky guess I got it right. The current affairs questions may have stumped adults, but the students from the 23 tertiary institutions and schools taking part in the first round of the big quiz were prepared. I guess it's a lot of reading uh, the Straits Times and all. Yeah, that's what we do. Our friend did a lot of work for us. They prepared a whole list of, of news and information for us to memorize. So, um, yeah, and anyway, we started reading and stuff. But we weren't told before at, at all. So we weren't exactly like 100% prepared. We do the IB program, and the IB program doesn't do GP. So what we do is uh, theory of knowledge. And for our theory of knowledge, we are required to find a lot of real-life situations, which we find in the Straits Times. And we use them as um, case studies to discuss certain knowledge issues. I skipped school two days. <laughs> so, I'm well, not exactly skipping, but like, yeah, with valid reason. So, with a lot of time to read. So, yeah. so it's only you who skipped school or everyone else skipped school too? Just, just, uh, just yeah, him. just him. The purpose of this whole quiz, firstly, is to get young people to read the Straits Times. But um, I think in coming up with the questions, what we were looking for was not just a simple matter of, do you know this person? Um, and, and how many people involved in this crime. Um, but we were looking at material that would resonate with young people and that was relevant to them. In the first round of the big quiz, students had to answer 50 current affairs questions in a mere 30 minutes. With so many questions and so little time, two strategies were seen in the auditorium. Those who divide and conquer and those who put their minds together. We took one page and we decided, okay, this person, you take this question. This person, you take the subsequent question uh, below, like, the previous question. Kind of thing. And, our dif- um, and we all have different interests and strengths as well. So, for example, she took the sports questions and uh, I took the arts questions and uh, yeah. she took uh, the like economics questions. I don't really think we had a strategy. Yeah. We just whacked it. The teams will be ranked according to the number of questions they answered correctly and the amount of time they took to finish. Only 18 will make it through to the quarterfinals on August 1st. Stay tuned for more updates on the big quiz.